Hey, it's me, Javid. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout 3. Uh, hello. What the heck? Where the heck? Oh, yeah. The Jury Street, Diner Street, Diner Metro Street, Diner Metro Street, Jury Station. Uh, welcome in, everybody. If you like this series, please remember that leaving comments, liking the videos, and subscribe with the bell turned on all helps out the series to grow. Thank you to those who do that. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3, the 100% series. We are doing scientific pursuits, gain entrance to Rivet City. We've already done that. Got the replicated man. Stealing independence. Retrieve the Declaration of Independence from the National Archives. There's so many easy jokes to make with that one. I will not be making said jokes. Uh, and I guess that's it. Yeah, do we want to just go right to Rivet City? I do want to kind of get that part of the game started. Because, again, the, the main quest, I feel like, is very long. And we came here to go uh, meet, uh, 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 what is his name? Uh, 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 Prime. Yeah, let's go back to Rivet City. Um, I don't think there's any, like, reason to not... I just wanna, I just wanna get all the, kinda get all the context for doing the main quest without skipping any steps. Cause again, if you know certain stuff, you've played these games before. Why do I have... We've already got access. We don't need to get access. Uh, so yeah, in terms of the quest that we're doing, by the way. Scientific pursuits. We are finding our father who fled Vault 101. Was it ever explained why he just abandoned us? Cause that, like, that's so not like his character, but I don't remember if that's explained or will be explained, but kind of sucks it. Yeah, I mean, they would definitely have to address that. Anyways, gain entrance to Rivet City, which we've been to before, so we already have entrance, but let's talk to Harkness, the guard captain, or the captain of the guard. Is there a problem? I guess not. I guess I can already just get in. Okay, bye. Carry on, then. It's weird that it gives me that quest marker. That's very weird. I guess I've never done it this way. Okay, wait a second. Maybe there's another line of dialogue. Is there a problem? There's no problem. Uh, let's see. Can you help me? Dr. Lee's lab. Who's in charge around here? Uh, what can you tell me about Dr. Lee? Her lab is in the stern side of the ship. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gain entrance to Rivet City. Talk to Dr. Lee about Dad and Project Purity. So where do we get the lead? We talked to Moriarty, and then what information did Moriarty... Did he just yes. tell us to go here? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember the sequence of events. Did he tell us just to go to Rivet City? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 three Dog. Ow! Of course, yeah. We got the information uh, from Three Dog after helping him restore the voice to the wasteland. So now, this is why I wanted to avoid coming into the science lab, but now we can talk to Dr. Lee and see what is up. Hello, Dr. No. Hello, Dr. Lee. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Wait. How do you know who I am? Have we met? Actually, no. I mean, she just explained, right? You know my father. Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I suppose James never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. I'm trying to find my... Actually, can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. I always picked up that Dr. Lee liked our father romantically, and I'm not sure if that's something I put into my head or if that is more obvious. I mean, certain hesitations so far would indicate that, but why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged, derelict equipment. We did everything we could. I understand. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. It's okay, ma'am. 
What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Can you tell me more about my parents? What do you want to know? Let's talk about something else. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'd like to know a little bit more about you, Dr. Lee. What? Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I... We worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. Tell me about this project you worked on with my father. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? What was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea, and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down, we understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine. But any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Oh my god. What is this lab? What are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Okay. What do you know about Zimmer, who is, of course, the guy that gave us the AI quest, just kind of behind us, or to the left? Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. What kind of place is this Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. And a very noble goal at that. Okay, finally. I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. I'm sorry. Could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. You can tell me where the old lab is because I'm clearly trying to find him, Dr. Lee. It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Can you remind me where my father went? The last I knew, he was headed back to the lab at Project Purity in the old Jefferson Memorial Building. I still say it's dangerous, and he shouldn't have risked it. That's all I know. Is there any way you can help me out? Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors, or you're chasing after him. I'm sorry. And I remember there was a speech here, and I hope we pass this, because I believe we get stim packs, which I honestly could really use. Come on, isn't there anything you could do to help? I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. It's not much, but it might make things easier for you. 
Excellent. Five stim packs. Yeah, you have no idea how much that actually helps. Okay, I have to go now. Good luck finding your father. Thank you so much, Dr. Lee. Appreciate all the information. I feel like Anna Holt had something to tell us. What do you need? Some some misquest or something. I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? I am, but I just need to, yeah. Can I get a drink of around here, preferably somewhere clean? Okay, maybe not. Bye. Bye. Okay, so there's that. So now we know that he's back at the Jefferson Memorial, which is why I grabbed um, that uh, place as a uh, place that we could hey. fast travel back to. Hi, door to midship deck. Hello, um, hi, hello. Hi, hello. Hi, yes, hello. Hi, hello. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know if I want to continue doing the main quest just yet. Uh, it would be fun to kind of just go around and explore as well. Door to River, Rivet City Mart. How the heck do we get out of here, by the way? Okay, once again, I'm just getting lost because I'm not paying attention. Um, I'm trying to remember what happens next in the main story, though. What we mainly need is just stim packs. We're actually about to level up very quickly here as well, though. So maybe if we do go to the Jefferson Memorial, we'll get some kills on some super muties and then get a brand new perk. So yeah, maybe we will do that. I want to go back up here, please, and thank you. And up here, please, and thank you. And here we are, please, and thank you. Yeah, maybe we will do it. Because I don't think... I think I'm getting my major events mixed up in what happens uh, in this game right now. So yeah, let's fast travel back to the Jefferson Memorial where it is overrun by oh, super mutants, as you can tell here. Uh, okay, let's see. What are What is our current weapon situation? Minigun with nothing. Missile launcher with three missiles. We got some frag grenades. Let's use those first and foremost. And we will, in fact use that unless they're this close which I in which case I think we just do like that let's do like that oh okay this is very 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 bad um all right one of those please land yay and one of these you don't even have a weapon dude nice okay then we press tab again and let's see we've got a combat shotgun with some shots here let's go for that one okay let's do this Nice. Ugh. You stop moving. Oh my god. Got completely sprayed by that red mist. Okay, nail board, nail, uh, nail board, rad roach meat. I remember um one one uh movie I really like is Kick Ass, and uh one of the characters in that movie is called uh Red Mist. I always thought that was a really cool super. Super name, not to spoil anything. Just, just a, a very, a very cool character name in a superhero themed uh, movie or show or anything. Okay, so here's the Jefferson Memorial. So yeah, basically they've turned the Jefferson Memorial into a, into a uh, water purifying plant. Although I guess they abandoned it at, you know, this was the old lab, the new labs in Rivet City. They've abandoned it, and now our father is trying to go back and turn it once again into a water purifying plant. So let's do a little bit of non-sneaking, because I'm not afraid. I just want that level up. Okay, this guy's got some armor. I know you can't see anything. I can't either. I promise. Come on. Come on. Okay, looks like a turret helped us out there. Let's turn on our Pip-Boy like I can't see a dang thing. Mole rat meat and a sledgehammer. No, thank you. What do you have? 32 caliber rounds, yes, please. Okay, we've got a turret that is locked on to me. Now, I know for a fact there's a thing already where you have to clear out all of the super mutants in order to... Where does this go? Great to pump control. Oh, yeah, I remember this quest now. Yeah, I know for a fact you have to kill all the super mutants in order to... Um, I think, I don't know for a fact, but I'm pretty sure in order to progress this quest. But there's also an intercom, so let's go talk to that really quick. There's no response from the intercom. Okay, what weapon do we have that is anything that's accurate at all? This is not going to be accurate whatsoever. We have a lot of ammo to chew through, so let's switch to the Chinese assault rifle, which we have a unique variant for sure. Uh, we can also do this, which does pause time. Okay, let's see here. How about convinced? Okay, that works for me. Yeah. Okay, what do we have here? Warning, no targeting data. Deactivate turret system. You actually end up losing experience, though, if you do this, but we'll deactivate it, sure. 
fizzle it or roll play E to do it that way. But yeah, you can just shoot the turret and actually get experience, get something from it. But not that big of a deal regardless. Yeah, they're really not putting a lot of these med kits. It's funny how good the Chinese assault rifle is, even when you don't have any small gun skills. Bye! Okay, let's go this away and see what's in this room really quick. We've got a cash register with nothing inside of it. We've got nothing there. We've got a couple of ammo boxes here. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that right away and the 556 five, rounds. And I will take the 32 rounds, which look an awful lot like Mentats. Thank you. Anything in the suitcase? No. Nothing over here. Okay, moving right along. Let's see. All right, so I think we need to go through there. I'm not even sure what we're trying to do, actually. I don't know if we have a a a, a, a goal at the moment. And yeah, we're still missing that one um, that one sewer grate going down to the sewers. Okay, what is this? Oh, hello. Bye, bye. Okay, that goes into the rotunda, which is definitely what we're trying to find. But yeah, I think I forget how exactly this happens. I'm trying not to spoil. But I'm pretty sure they want us to clear out all these uh, super mutants first. Okay, level 10. What do we have here? We've got big guns at 50. That really needs to get up, but we don't have any big guns. That's the problem. Barter, energy weapons, explosives, lockpick. Okay, definitely get this up to 75. Yeah. Medicine, melee weapons, repair, science, small gun, sneak, speech, unarmed. Okay, do we want speech? Uh, I think now we do get our big guns all the way up. So we have a little bit more skill points there. Then, we always want to check down here to see what new perks we've unlocked. Okay, we get two int and perception at nighttime. It's active inside and out. Uh, this is good because, yeah, there's no negatives. Int and perception. Got nerd rage. Your strength is raised to 10. You gain 50% damage resistance whenever your health drops to 20% below. Here and now gives you an immediately, uh, it just gives you an immediate level right off the bat, but obviously you don't want to use this until, like, the last level, which I guess is 30? I forget how it is. Uh, I think with Broken Steel added to this game, I think it goes up to 30, I don't remember. But anyways, point is, you want to use this later, not as soon as you can unlock it, because there's really no point. I mean, you can get some early skill points, sure, but it's not worth it. With the finesse perk, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit on opponent in combat equivalent to five extra points of luck. That's huge, I think. I think that one is, like, genuinely amazing. Animal friend. Animals won't attack, and then they'll come to your aid, which is kind of nice. Strong back gives you 50 more pounds. Size matters. Uh, you gain additional 50 points. Like, Yeah, like I said, people said that this is not really worth taking, which I agree with. Uh, resist ra radiation. Okay, yeah, we've looked at all these before. Is there any new stuff here? Yeah, we need to get more of those as well. Yeah, I think we do take Finesse. This one's just too good. With the Finesse perk, you have a higher chance to score a critical hit on opponent in combat equipment of five extra points of luck, which is a special stat, so that's huge. Yes, please. If that's actually bad, I would be very surprised. Okay, so we need to go into the Rotunda, but let's go back over this way and see what we got. What is this? Manhole to Taft Tunnels. That requires a key. Just gonna explore this a bit. Nuke hey, look at that. We got lucky with the Quantum there. I found you. Actually, thank you very much. I don't even know. Did you land that hit? What is this? Open door to Jefferson. Okay, that goes to the rotunda as well. That's where the game's wanting me to go at the moment. But I just want to explore a little bit. Okay, what is this? Door to Memorial Sub Basement. Okay. And we have a desk with nothing. Oh, is there a. I wonder if there's a bobblehead. Oh, hi. Bye. Surprised that guy was an aggroed. Frag grenades, thank you. Okay, got anything in these filing cabinets? The answer to that question and more is no. Alrighty, we got a, what, a footlock with nothing. It looks like that's everything explored. So now, let's stow this away and let's go into the rotunda. Hello? Father? Search dad's hollow tapes for clues to his location. Okay, excuse me. Had to shoot immediately so that he didn't get a free hit since he was like one hit away from dying. Let's reload that. Looks like we still got at least one more super mutant somewhere. Are you throwing a frag grenade? Uh-uh, don't want that. Ooh, he got me. 
Okay, we're crippled here, but... Should be able to still make it happen. Okay, I'll take that frag grenade. You should probably use that. You're probably bulky enough to make it just hurt me. Okay, so this sucks because now I can't really move that fast. So I think we will use one stim pack there just so we can move at the normal speed because I can't stand being slow in video games. Okay, so yeah, I didn't think... This is what I was trying not to spoil is that. I didn't think we did actually find our... I didn't think that we would find our father here, but I couldn't remember. Um... Yeah, so instead we have his holotapes there, which we have to listen to to get some sort of clue. So what do we have? Project Purity Personal Journal Entry 5, 8, and 10. So we'll go in order with 5. Let's listen to that one. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a Voltaic facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name, that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltec's sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltec's social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Which is a direct reference. Why is it telling me, by the way, to go back into the rotunda? That's a direct reference to Fallout 2 and 1? Yeah, I think both 1 and 2 Geks are very, very majorly involved. We've got journal entry 8. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, holotapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. Okay, we prepared the unique uh, Chinese, yeah, the unique, I, I'm assuming this is a unique Chinese assault rifle with the other one. Okay, and then we have finally 10. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of bronze that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Okay, yeah, so he heard about a man called Dr. Stanislaus Braun, which I think is the same guy that is a part of the Braun Project. I'm forgetting, there's like some mod or something. I think, or some uncut... I think there's something where they wanted to use uncut content, or cut content for Fallout 3, and wanted to, uh, uh, like, put it into, you know, an actual playable state or something like that, if I remember correctly. As usual, I'm not very knowledgeable about mods in general. I like playing the games as they were released, even with all their bugs. Yeah, even with the, uh, you know, even without downloading the unofficial patches, which nobody ever understands, and I get it, but yeah, I, just, I just like playing these games state that they were released in, if they are playable, which most of them are, you know, outside of, obviously, some negatives. Okay, let's go use our bed really quick, and then sleep for about 12 hours, just to get some uh, free healing, and to role play, like the worst. I like to, like, sleep for the amount of time that you would normally sleep in real life, you know, 
uh, especially after adventuring for that amount of time or whatever. Uh, and like, cause I like, especially like adventuring in these games in the Welcome daytime. Home. Okay, and then we get the well-rested bonus too. All right, so now, yeah, we have a quest to go over here near Girder Shade, interestingly enough, which has a very cool, interesting quest. Uh, not very cool, but it's an interesting quest nevertheless. Uh, but yeah, what do we want to do instead? Unfortunately, we just don't have, we really need a good weapon. Like, we have that minigun, which is good, but it's just, we choose through ammo so fast. I wonder what the best, I wonder if heavy weapons is just genuinely bad, because that's how it feels, um, given how much ammo it chews through and how rare the actual weapons are themselves. Like, yeah, they're good, but it definitely seems like... It's not really worth it. You find small guns literally everywhere, which is just what I've always put points into. I wish there were more people like you in the world. Well, thank you. I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. 10, 10 millimeter. Uh, yeah, certainly. Thank you. Certainly. It's the least I could do after all you've done. Yeah, I appreciate it. That, that will be put to good use, I promise you. Okay, let's go see Moira and see... Huh. If she's got... Uh... See if she's got any five millimeter rounds, and indeed she does. So we'll buy all of those. And I don't think we need any other things, right? But do we have anything to sell her? Weapons, bottle cap, mines. What do you do want to use? Combat shotgun, uh, fragment, laser pistol. Let's get rid of that to offset the price a little bit. Minigun, missile launcher, sniper rifle. We'll get rid of this as well. I don't know why I even have this, honestly. It's just weighing us down. Vampire's Edge and the Assault Rifle. Okay, then Apparel, Environment Suit. Hockey Mask is definitely not unique. So let's sell that as well. Merc Cruiser Outfit I feel like also is not unique. Hopefully it's not, and I'm not making a big mistake here. Now, Buff Out, Buff Out, Jet. Jet, 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 Jet. Uh, let's do Medics. Let's do Mentats 2. And then we'll give her literally three caps for all those five millimeter rounds. Good hunting. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. And nowhere else. Okay, now what? So yeah, I kind of wanted to do this next, but we definitely need some supplies to, in order to do that. Retrieve the Declaration of Independence from the National Archives. So let's go do that. That should be over. Why do we not even have... Do we not even have a... We don't even have a, uh, a, uh, a quest marker for that. I mean, I think it's, it's close to these, if I remember correctly. Also, there was a very cool place. Yeah, actually, let's travel back to the Washington Monument. There was a very cool place that we'll get some more quests as well, and I think it's in view of this monument here. Yeah, I think it's that right over there. Uh, so yeah, this whole strip of land here, downtown DC, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what, don't know if it's got a name proper. Uh, we, there's a b bunch of really, really, really important stuff, but this is the Museum of History. Is this a metro station? This isn't actually going into the Museum of History, right? Metal Gate? Oh, I guess. Yeah, it's not, right? Metro station? Yeah, we don't want to do that. We want to, uh, get back up topside. And, uh, yeah! And, uh, uh, check this out. Also, we've got somebody over here that might have something interesting to say. Huh! Hello. Another human with a death wish. Welcome to the mall, tourist. Um. I'm not a tourist. Come on. Here you are in the mall of our nation's fine capital. Taking in the sights, visiting the monuments. Face it. You're a tourist. That's like your definition of me. I have a different definition. You're crazy to stand out here, aren't you? Afraid of the super mutants? Those knuckle draggers? Nah, they don't bother us ghouls. Maybe they see us as kin or something. I don't know. Now there's other assholes. Uh, where did you come from? Nice to meet you, too. I'm the sentry for Underworld. City of ghouls inside the museum. For a tourist, you're pretty clueless. My name's Willow, by the way. Yeah, so we've already met ghouls before, right? But I think this is the only second one we've seen that hasn't been a feral ghoul, which just attacks you on sight. Did you say a city of ghouls? Sure did. Underworld. It's right inside the Museum of History, then through the big skull. 
Most of the residents ain't crazy about humans, but they'll sell to you, fix you up, so long as your caps are good and you ain't a ghoul hater. Honestly, a really good idea for like, um, for you know, a, an entire town. I, when I was younger, I wanted to see actual town towns because I think I was used to kind of like Final Fantasy, where they're so magical and wonderful. But in this game, like now that I'm older and can respect the the realism, like it, it's a good idea to take like a museum filled with a bunch of cool stuff and then turn that into like a town, especially for like a group of ghouls, uh, other assholes. Yeah, you know those humans like you. Well, maybe not like you, I don't know, but humans all the same. The Brotherhood of Steel guys with their testosterone and power armor. Those psycho talent company mercs. Those other assholes. There's quite a lot of other assholes in the wasteland, unfortunately. I have to go now. Till next time, Sightseer. Bye bye. So yeah, this is Underworld, which has a whole bunch of cool and fun stuff inside of it, which we'll get into in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this one, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this episode and are enjoying the series in general, remember leaving comments, leaving likes, subscribe with the bell turned on, all helps out. And a massive thank you to my patrons over on Patreon, whose names you're about to see. <gasps> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.